Hello everybody, me back again, uh, it was uh, some time ago when I last posted some video, um, I was a little bit sick, uh, now I'm a little bit better, and yeah, I think I will start with this video, uh, which is in basic, some demonstration of some hydrophobic uh, coating. So this hydrophobic coating uh, is not conductive but this coating is hydrophobic and I prepare some samples. The first one, the first sample is some, how to say, some white transparent uh, coating. So which is here and I will coat some uh, cardboard also I will coat some paper <coughs> so here I coat this paper here I coat this cardboard second coating is the same coating but I add a little bit of pigment so you can use any pigment okay Okay, I think that this roller is not the best uh, for this one. So I will dry this uh, and yeah, we will see what we will get. The drying time is over. Here on this side I have this red hydrophobic coating and here I have this transparent hydrophobic coating. Uh, so the base material to make hydrophobic coating is the same on both sides, but uh, to make this red pigment, I use some red uh, iron oxide for the pigment. But I coat this one with the roller and I don't get uh, so smooth surface coating but here I coat this with a brush uh, and I get much much uh, smoother coating and now we need to test the hydrophobic properties and now I will show you some hydrophobic properties of this coating uh, like I said, this coating is a uh, work in progress. So here I have some transparent coating and here I have uh, the coating with some pigment.
really really nice and here is only the paper and you see that the paper is wet also I will test this one smoother is the surface better is the hydrophobic property properties I play a little bit uh, with this hydrophobic uh, coating and I also play with different types of pigments so here I have also another pigment uh, but you see that this one this pigment I mean this coating is slightly greenish color but uh, let's see when I Turn off the lights. <laughs> really, really awesome. So here also you see that uh, the coating is not really, really smooth, but yeah. Because this one I also apply with uh, the roller and you see This hydrophobic coating which you see before uh, This is some proof of concept. Uh, I need to work a little bit on this one uh, But yeah, it's a work in progress uh, So like I said I upgrade also some of our inks, conductive inks, and one ink is here. Uh, so this one is some test version, uh, and yeah, it's this ink is a little bit thick. Now I will see what what performance I will get out from this this ink. So in basic, this ink is water based ink. Uh, it's not high high temperature high temperature ink uh, but it's some kind of uh, how to say basic conductive inks uh, for multi-use purposes so basically this ink is really good because uh, the flexibility of this paint is really 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 awesome and now we need to we need to wait that this thing will be dry and we will see what we will get uh, also if this ink is too thick you can add a little bit of water to make more liquid it so right now I will wait that this ink will be dry and I will see what I will get. Okay, this ink is fully dry and let's see what will be the Ohm's reading. Sixteen sixteen point one The square resistance is also 15.4 ohms. Uh, but to get much more smoother surface, you can just add some water. Uh, also, I, I can increase uh, the conductivity even even more but what is really really special on this one this is fully fully flexible so guys in basic uh, 
uh, that's it for now right now I don't have any other projects to show you uh, because I'm a little bit in delay I will continue my work and yeah I will make a lot of new videos and we see us in the next video bye